Hello, hello, hello. I'm back again. Your main, main, the real Bill Real. <laughs> Chances are you or someone you know is a Facebook head. You say, Bill, what is a Facebook head? Well, a Facebook head is a person that is addicted to Facebook. Now, they may look normal. They may actually work. They may have a vehicle. They may have children. They may be married. But underneath all of that, is a secret life of stalking ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, family members that you don't know much about. Yes, this is America's new favorite pastime. Facebooking. Just think back. Now, I don't celebrate any of these, but just over the holiday that just went by, that you know, most people celebrate it. They call it Christmas and New Year's and all that kind of stuff. Just think about how many people were at those gatherings. And instead of talking to actual family members, they were in a daze staring into their cell phone. Looking for the latest update from whomever. Some people add tons of people so that they could never, ever, 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 ever go to their their uh, cell phone <laughs> and not see something new. We are in the social media era. Everything happens in a nanosecond. And it travels around the world in a second. People's relationships have changed. How have they changed? Well, they've changed from, say, the 70s. Where if a man asked a female to uh, uh, a movie... Say you wanted to take her out to dinner somewhere. We would consider that dating. And that woman would only be what we would call friendly with him. That means she would only accept phone calls at her house from him. She would only want to communicate with him say to set something up for the weekend or say like a a movie or some kind of date want to meet up at the park or something like that he would be that only person that she would ever talk with or she would ever discuss information with on a social level so to speak fast forward to 2014 you have a female that you want to date, you get with her, you exchange numbers, you guys text a little bit, you make the fatal mistake of adding each other on Facebook. Why do I say fatal mistake? Well, now you're being trailed. You're being monitored. When you say I'm going to bed, guess what? They're on. They see it. You're online now. Thought you said you were going to bed. What were you doing? Who are you talking to? Can I see your phone? <laughs> You guys understand how it goes. So not only is it that type of situation where everything is under close observation, but now she's also social with other guys that are in that pool to date her. So we have a situation where you have many women who are attached to many guys and you have many guys who are attached to many females which is the exact opposite of the way our parents did it 
So the dynamic of the relationships have changed because of the social media era that we live in. But Facebook, Facebook is that drug that our culture cannot get enough of. It causes insomnia. It causes people to be depressed. It causes insecurities. It causes a person to be unhappy when they should be happy unexpectedly. I think you get my drift. People will soon have to go to treatment for Facebook addiction. This is the real Bill Real. I'm signing out. Peace.